Welcome all to the latest video from CloudWoods.net, the best and most thorough cloud review site on the internet. Today, we'll be comparing two of our favorite cloud storage services, Sync.com and pCloud, to find out which one is the best. What makes that question tricky is that both are among the most secure services out there. So eventually, you have to dig into the details to decide which service works for you and your situation best. But instead, in this video, we'll be evaluating them on more on value, ease of use, and synchronization, speed, and sharing. Enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's compare the value of the two services first. It's an easy way to start. The good news is that they're both very cost-effective services, and they both have free plans too. pCloud offers 10 gigabytes for free, while sync.com offers five. Now, you may think that this makes pCloud the better deal when it comes to free, but here's the rub. Sync offers an extra gigabyte per referral with no limit to how many people you can refer, while pCloud gives you $5 for each person you send their way. Not that there's anything wrong with some extra money, but it does make sync.com more attractive as a free service. The playing field tilts back into pCloud's favor when we look at the paid plans, however. Sync.com is roughly $4 per terabyte, while pCloud is five, but that's not the whole story. Sync.com locks you in to, into annual plans from the get-go, which may turn some people away. And pCloud, on the other hand, will let you go basically on a month-to-month -month basis, which is liberating, to say the least. At the same time, though, it also offers a great deal in terms of its lifetime plans, which are just $350, for two terabytes, it's a great deal as we think pCloud isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Next up is synchronization, or the ability for a cloud storage to apply changes made to a document on your computer to the copy stored in the cloud and vice versa. You might think that sync.com is better than pCloud and you'd be right, though pCloud offers um, maybe a bit more versatility and bit easier to use than Sync. Sync.com beats pCloud simply because it's faster and because of Selective Sync, a toggle that lets you decide which folders get synced and which don't, which saves your bandwidth a lot. Combined with uh, Sync is the ability, obviously, to share files with a team or with, with other people. Sync.com also takes the prize here, but only by a smidge. On its face, both pCloud and Sync do sharing equally well, although slightly differently. Sync.com is the more, well, advanced of the two, allowing you to share files directly and set passwords and expiry dates so people can only share um, with you like for a limited amount of time. And that's great when dealing with clients or team members. And also in the events tab, you can see exactly who did what in your shared folders. pCloud also lets you set separate permissions for folders and the files in them, but is overall less granular than Sync. Sync.com also lets you decide, for example, that people can invite or cannot invite others into a shared folder or not. On the other hand, we like how easy it is with pCloud to generate upload and download links from files so you can work effectively with your team. Normally, this would be enough to declare pCloud the winner, but the thing is, sync.com lets you do something very valuable indeed, and that is set zero-knowledge security passwords on shares. We'll talk a little more about that in a second once we get into the security of the, uh, of the two services. But what it boils down to is that sharing with sync.com is inherently that little bit more secure than with pCloud. Security then is last. We'll go ahead and spoil this one for you and let you know that sync.com beats pCloud here once again, though as with all these rounds, it's like only by a hair. The main sticking point is that sync.com offers two-factor authentication while pCloud does not, and that zero-knowledge security is actually built in with sync while you have to pay for it when using pCloud, which is called pCloud Crypto. Plus, Sync servers are located in Canada, which might be good for people who want to or have to avoid hosting files in the US. If zero knowledge security is particularly important to you, this actually places pCloud at a, at a considerable disadvantage as pCloud crypto is, is rather expensive at either four or five dollars per month, depending on your subscription type. We've actually said it before, if pCloud made crypto free, then our job 
would be actually much harder to declare sync as the clear winner. And as it stands now, though, we would recommend sync.com in most cases for most users. With that, we come to the end of this video comparison. Though pCloud is better for users, especially those looking for a month-to-month -month option or for very specific sharing options, for most people, we recommend sync.com for day-to-day -day tasks and for security. Do you agree? Well, let us know what you think in the comments below and which cloud storage service you use. And if you like our videos, don't forget to let us know and obviously subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.